Hello folks. As I'm sure you're probably aware, there's been a lot of nattering on the old internet about just what uh, voltage and voltages that one needs to run Toyota hybrid uh, motors. Now, despite the fact that I've demonstrated that you do not indeed need 650 volts to run the uh, Lexus GS450H gearbox. In fact, it's perfectly happy at normal 260. Well, it seems that this is one rumor and one internet fact that will not go away. So I thought to myself today, aha, I happen to have a Gen 2 Toyota Prius. It goes by various names, sometimes the Pre-Ace, because it's half car, half van. But most of the time, I just refer to her as Black Betty. So I thought, okay, what if we were to modify Black Betty's inverter in such a way that we could measure the high, high voltage, i.e. the boosted DC voltage during some driving conditions. And yes, folks, just for you, I did that. So sit back, relax, and let's see what voltage Betty really gets up to. Alrighty, folks. So, under Black Betty's bonnet. As we can see here, our inverter is sporting a modification. Yes, we have some extra wires coming out here and they're going into the passenger cabin. Now let's have a look and see what they're doing. So, into the passenger cabin, our wires come in here come to a piece of connector block where we've got some multimeter probes connected to them. Here we have a multimeter and it's not reading DC voltage. Currently, car's just switched on here. It's reading 230 volts. So you're probably thinking, well, that's very nice, but uh, what happens if I press the throttle? Yes, folks, we are on Black Betty's high, high voltage DC bus, and we're going to go drive around under some different speeds and different conditions. And we're going to see just uh, what kind of voltage that the Toyota hybrid uh, systems really use. Um, so the things I do for the Internet. OK, folks. We'll uh, stand by for some pretty bad quality video here. So we're in Betty at the minute. Um, have I got the key? Yes, I do. Okay, so, all right. So, got the door open, uh, foot on the brake, key in the slot, and power on. I'm going to hit the EV mode button there. As you'll see, right now we got battery voltage. So, door close, window open. All right, let's chuck on the seatbelt here. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is we're just going to drive down the road here, just creep. It's going to let the handbrake off. I'm going to go into drive, and I'm just going to let my foot off the brake here. So we're just creeping now, uh, about six or seven kilometers per hour. It's a slight downhill here, so it's not going to take much energy. So it looks like we got pretty much battery voltage um, just on the the high high voltage bus. So, all right, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna go into reverse. I'm gonna just let the creep bring us backwards here. Six kilometers per hour. Just coming to a 
stop, handbrake on and into park. Now, engine start. Okay, engine is now running and we are battery charging. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the accelerator to the floor which will bring the revs up. At this point, with the revs high, we do see the HV voltage increase. Let it off. We pretty much drop back down and we're just battery charging. So, next thing I'm going to do is now that we have engine on, I'm going to accelerate briskly. Uh, Ah, there's engine off, but I'll just give it a bit of throttle here now. I will just do a little, uh, just the same trip again here, but this time with engine assistance. So handbrake off, into drive, and throttle up. And I got up to 30 kilometers per hour there. So, all right, let's reverse back, a bit more throttle. No engine, we're still on battery. Just reversing back. Now we're gonna turn the car around and we're gonna go for a proper drive. So I'm just gonna drive the car. Hopefully this camera will stay where it wants to. Uh, stop it, Betty. All right, let's go for a normal drive. We're not gonna do anything we wouldn't uh, normally do. So just coming out of my housing estate here now. About 20 kilometers per hour, engine is running. We're regenning. And we're going out onto the main drag now, so I'll accelerate us out here. Engine assistance again. And we're driving. Okay, hang on. Got some traffic.
engine off. Now we're just uh, moving on battery again. And we're back out onto the pit drag. Accelerate a bit more briskly this time. And we're doing 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, unfortunately, we got some slow traffic. Because I shouldn't have picked a Sunday to do this. And back to park. All right, folks. I hope you have enjoyed that. Um, definitely food for thought in there. I am not going to tell you uh, what to think. Um, it's quite interesting to note, and it does uh, kind of make sense from some of the things that I've seen. Uh, Toyota simply don't just slam the boost converter up to maximum power all of the time. That would make no sense at all. And when most of the driving uh, that we're doing is at much less of a DC link voltage. What we do see quite repeatedly there is that if we accelerate the internal combustion engine, then we do see uh, up to 500 volts appearing on the DC link. And that's again just due to the fact that we're spinning the hell out of MG1 at that speed. So, there we have it folks. Bit of a different video for you today. Hope you've enjo enjoyed. I have also uh, heard your cries about the audio pro problem. 
I hope that it's now fixed because I invested in one of those kind of road microphone thingies to point at me and I've plugged that into the phone so hopefully that has cured our sound problems and might actually make for make it easier for me to make some outdoor uh, videos because I won't have to worry so much about wind noise. So the only wind noise that you'll have to worry about will be from my trap. So that's it folks. I'll leave it all there for you. Um, as always, don't forget to dislike, hoard, and unsubscribe yourself from this useless channel. Uh, we will see you in the next epi episode. Uh, do check the links in the description for Patreon, PayPal, in case you want to support me on some of these crazy projects. But, yeah, no, it's probably just as well if you don't. And open inverter forum, GitHub, and whatever else, JLC, PCB, yeah, whatever else I can throw in there for you. So, that's it, folks. And until then, happy high voltage measurement. <laughs>